So we started this build February 21st. Our friend Dylan Holt flew up here from Tennessee to start welding this frame together. We have completely built and assembled an entire truck in what is exactly now three full weeks. Uh, we haven't left for Utah yet. Yeah. But this We're ship's coming. getting ready to sail. We're coming, whether whether you like it or not. We may be late to the to the show, but can you blame us? We built it in three weeks. stuck in first gear we're gonna have to fix that um, we got the Jeep dad started with here she needs some love she's got hundreds of trim miles already with zero love or respect oh yeah everything rubs everything's tired how does she feel Zach feels like a stock <laughs> gotta love it you found another gremlin huh Fresh build things, no test things. Just making it happen. This video is our test drive right here. We were just gonna putz around, give you guys some footage, you know, go over some of these whoops or whatever you wanna call them. We might just take her to the top of the world. Just, just keep going. Just might happen. Just might happen. She's doing great. Why not? Why stop now? license plate for this thing <laughs> I think it's fun I think I'm gonna be able to reach a lot of places that I couldn't otherwise you know you're really sitting down in there like a real Peterbilt driver would is your seat on the floor it is on the floor we're gonna take this truck that we built in three weeks and we're gonna see what it does up here in the dunes we're out here in uh, Hurricane Utah Sand Hollow like all the people were saying, did you bring your raid for all the bugs we're about to experience? We we have been throwing bugs out of this thing since we left, and we're still not done. We're gonna video a lot of things that we've uh, that we need to fix, and a lot of things that we need to change in order to make this thing a superpower at next year's games. And we're gonna slow down the build so you guys can watch them now. Yeah, we'll, we'll try to sit down and do a lot more talking, explain to you guys what we did, why we did it, and. Uh, and there's gonna be a lot of things that we're, we're still adding to it. We still have to put outriggers on this truck so that we can recover from the side without rolling our truck over and uh, we'll make it happen. So close. What can we do for you? Now we need to make it to the beginning of Milt's Mile. Uh, I know your boom doesn't work, but do you think you could just pull us? We heard you needed to 
pulled out of somewhere. We do. Can oh. we can we hook up? We, we can. Need, we need pulled in. I was thirsty in that extra one. I don't know if you were thirsty too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> he knows just what we need. Do you think that thing's big enough to pull the Jaguar though? If if we get somewhere where you're stuck, we'll have to back over top of you and pull you backwards. <laughs> okay. If you guys get stuck, we'll help you out as well. This is the start. I thought we were going to need you, but apparently the Jag is so capable that we didn't even have to get pulled out here okay. like the rest of the guys. All right. But uh, thank you for making sure we got here. No problem. I want to do something with you at Windrock, though, so let me know when you're ready. Okay. Who wants to see this thing out at Windrock? This guy. <laughs> what are you doing, Dakota? I'm about to wheel Murphy's track truck, Black Betty. Let's see how she does. Are you nervous about this one? No, no, they'll, they'll pay for it, they roll it. This four seater this four seater flies nicer than the two seater does. Yeah, it doesn't roll as easy either. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love a rental. <laughs> Here in beautiful. 
beautiful sand hollow still last day we we're about to load up you guys got to see dad, dad insisted we brought a sheep it's been a good time you got to see how this thing turns i mean it just it's hysterical <laughs> Just lays all the way over. <laughs> He's got a lock rear dip. We're in the shop back in Ohio, and a uh, little bit of a situation. The wrecker is not here. Well, we got this wrecker, but we don't have our off road wrecker. And we made it to the games on the last day. We made it Saturday. Um, let, let's just go through a little bit of itinerary of what happened, okay? We built this truck in three weeks, okay? We built the truck in three weeks. We got it running Thursday at like 1 a.m. or so, and we drove it out the shop and straight onto the trailer, right? Load everything up and jump straight in the trucks and drive straight to Utah. We realized that the day that we were leaving, which we kind of already knew, but that we were, we were gonna have to take the tires off to transport it that far because we would, would have to pull permits for every state, over wide permits, oversized permits, to get clear to Utah. And so we bought a general oversize for the state of Utah and I had my team drive to Rocky Mountain Wrecker Sales. And when they got there, Rocky Mountain were, was great, they came out they lifted our truck with their crane, uh, used one of their forklifts, and were able to set those giant tires onto our machine, onto our truck. And so that's how we handled that. Uh, kudos to them. But our team had a lot of adversities get, getting to Utah. We had a snowstorm that shut down I-80. On I-70 and I-80 across the Rocky Mountains on, on the west side of Colorado, there's a huge snowstorm and it has all the interstates shut down. Guess what, we make it into Cheyenne and it is still snowing, just coming down, roads are covered. Our guys, they drove about 10 hours out of the way to pass the, get around the storm. We drive north up, uh, up Interstate 25 into Wyoming, up around the snowstorm, we were driving on black ice fog the fog was so thick you couldn't see 20 feet in front of the truck was, i've never driven in something quite that bad it definitely got a little western got sand hollow friday night at i don't know maybe 11 o'clock so my team showed up at sand hollow very very late friday night and saturday morning the last day of the show we tried to unload the truck and we had some problems and you know, there's a lot of comments made on our channel about make sure you take bug spray, bring the raid. I knew exactly what everybody was talking about. And boy, was it true. Um, I should have had an exterminator meet us, <laughs> show up on site. And, but my team did a great job in going through some of the small things that we had issues with. The biggest issue that we had was we had a hydraulic pump that the second we started the truck up on Saturday morning, the hydraulic pump cracked. And the hydraulic pump is a two-piece pump. The larger section runs the boom and all the functions of the truck, and the smaller section runs the steering. And we have uh, hydraulic steering front and rear. The rear is ran from a hydraulic motor, uh, uh, electric motor, and the front is ran mechanical off of that pump that is engine driven so we had no front steering so we took the guts out of the inside of the the larger section of pump we ground out the crack we JB welded it we put it all back together and it worked fine uh, for the front steering but it did take some time it was cold there so there was a lot of things that were happening that were not in our favor to make it to we'll call it the show it was a little frustrating a little discouraging and our whole team was becoming a little bit sour and a little bit a little bit unpatient but i can say that everybody still stayed hopeful everybody held their tongue i i didn't hear any hard language towards each other and we were able to get the truck to at least 
make it to the show. I enjoyed the compliments that we received from the people there who were looking at the truck. And, um, and it was it was worth every ounce of, of work and effort to, to see people enjoy it. We got to meet just about everybody. We got to meet uh, Trailmater, Leapin' G. We got to meet Matt there at the end of the day. He's He was driving past in the Moore Fair actually and stopped and saw us and met us. Uh, Howlin' Wolf Garage, Robbie Layton, tons of people. Tons of people, it was fantastic. Monday, we said Monday, we'll take the wheels and tires back off the wrecker, get it loaded back up on our tow truck, and we will head home. Yeah, we're driving through the Rocky Mountains on I-70. The truck starts dumping white smoke. We shut her off, pulled off to the side, and she's knocking. I immediately was like, hey, my Cummins just did this. Sounds to me like we got a bad injector. So I uh, had a friend of ours tow us out. They towed it back to their place. Me, Steve-O, and Zach were all in the Ram. We just kept trucking all the way home, straight through no stops. Turns out it was more than just an injector. Injector five was bad, two and three were weak. Um, they checked out the motor to make sure there wasn't motor damage. And turns out cylinder five is not healthy. It's not as, not as good as it once was. So that all needs repaired. That's more than just an injector job. And so now it's like, well, crap. Not only is our K-Whopper, our old Kenworth, our Landall, Stevo's razor on the neck of the Landall, the off-road wrecker and dad sheep are all stuck in Colorado. How are we ever going to get that unit back with a bad motor? I'm gonna tow that full unit back across all those flyover states, back into the old Ohio. Um, Cause guess what? There is some car shows, truck shows in Cleveland. There's this place called the IX Center. They used to build tanks and all sorts of stuff up there. And they do a big car show every year and I would like to get our wrecker in the car show. So, we're gonna get that bad Jimmy back here. We got some stuff to do to it. We got some stuff to repair. Um, we got, we had some hydraulic lines in the rear that are starting to get, you know, pinched and everything from the suspension too close to tolerances. We have the hydraulic pump to fix, our hydraulic level levers, the spool valve to hook back up. We gotta beautify some wiring. We need to beautify our air switches for the T-case and the differential lock, stuff like that. We need to hook up windshield wipers. We need to hook up functioning gauges, at least the bare minimums, you know, oil pressure, coolant temp, stuff like that. So we, we don't harm our motor. And our transmission, pretty sure our transmission is in limp mode, which means uh, for that one, it should mean it is stuck in third gear, I believe. And we couldn't get it to shift. I didn't have the T-case hooked up properly for low gear because I've never messed with that T-case before. We are just kind of shooting in the dark and we're wrong. So we have those things to do still. Yeah, just a lot of finishing things to do that you couldn't do in three weeks really. It just, it just doesn't work out like that. Good morning Vikings! It is like after midnight now and uh... Me and Baylor, we're, we're pretty darn tired, but guess what? We had to replace the differential in this here old wrecker of ours, because I'm about to take this bad Jimmy straight to Colorado, as fast as it'll go. The differential, we checked the truck over, Bailey, I should say, checked the truck over and everything before I went, so I could have a nice, safe trip. And we discovered that, hey, our front differential yoke is pretty sloppy on the pinion. So we're like, hmm, maybe we should fix that before going on a 4,000 mile round trip, almost 4,000 mile round trip. So differential shop in Northeast Ohio of our choice, we took this differential up there to them, you know, the other night, right at the end of the day, like they love us doing. I know it's their favorite. And what do they do? Got it back at the end of the day, right at the end of the day, just like we love them doing, but guess what? Here we are. Putting this bad Larry in here, because we got to get this show on the road. Our off-road wrecker is like too far away from home, and I want it back. It's two in the morning. We got it right. Just went on the uh, test drive. This feels an awfully lot, just like when we left for the wrecker games, the first time. 
Now we're going to get the wrecker. I mean, I hate to create traditions, but every time we've gone out west for even at two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> stay up all night to work on the truck and then leave. Welcome to Iowa 80, the world's largest truck stop. I got a problem with all the truckers out here when they get on the CB and run their mouth. But let me tell you something. If the tip of your stack isn't black, you don't even have room to raise your voice, all right? Sit down, get in that right lane, and just stay out of the way, all right? But we're out here at Iowa 80. It's about a, I don't know, eight, nine hour journey out here from the shop. And I still have about 12 hours to go to get to Denver before we can pick up our kitty cat. Welcome back, Vikings! We're pulling out of the fuel stop right now. We are only a few hours away from getting our off-road rugger back. The heck with the truck. The heck with the edge jeep. I can't wait to see the old off-road rugger again. I picked up myself some new shades, coonskin hat, and uh, some, some chicken fingers and JoJo's because I guess those come with the for the purchase of a, a, over 100, 100 gallons of fuel. 100 gallons of fuel. Get a free meal, folks. Stop out here. We are at Cubby's Travel Plaza. Right off of I-80. I don't even know what town we're in, what mile marker we're at. I've just got, I got white line fever, so it don't really matter. Anyways, Kevin is waiting at the airport. Old son is, speak of the devil. He is flying in and he's gonna help me drive this big unit all the way back home. Yo, I need a taxi. Hold on one second, there might be one right here. Oh, hey taxi! Come on, jump in old son. Come on, let's go. Thanks for the pickup, brother. No problem, man. We got we got a full unit to tow. We got to hit the streets. I wonder how many people have been picked up from the airport and a heavy wrecker before. Well, I can tell you it's my first experience. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rocky Mountain towing and mobile service we are here at our friend's lot he's the one that came and picked us up we broke down on our way home from the record games the off-road games and uh they pulled the motor open we have three bad injectors and cylinder number five on the engine is injured like won't make it home kind of an injury so Drove the 50 ton out, pick her up. Old reliable W W17. Here we have our trailer and all the goodies are still there. As they should be, as expected when you have good friends. Can't wait to get this unit back to the house. We gotta check all of our tires. Those little 17 fives, I just, I never trust them. You always gotta do your homework on those because they will leave you stranded and then finding someone that has those in stock, not always the best time. She is just dirty. Oh my gosh, you see that? She needs a bath, bad. We got 1600 miles to go or something like that. So let's get hammered down. 